here at the Wolves downtown LA and our man Noel Laporga from Skull and Crown. Yeah, me and Angelina over there getting ready. Angelina's doing all the, the, the heavy lifting here. Noel's just the bandy. He's 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 just the eye candy, right? <laughs> so excited about tonight. Tell me about how all this happened. So we're friends with Isaac and we stopped by during their grand reopening uh, a couple months ago. It was in November. Right. After right. the home after, home after came now. Okay. Came down, met up with Isaac the only man the proprietor here at the Wolves. And I was thought that even pre-pandemic, you know, we came before I thought personally this was like my favorite bar, you know. It's an awesome bar, man. So we became friends. I gifted him a, a Mai Tai glass as a congratulations uh, reopening. We both came and then uh, we became good friends and then just kinda that's how it happened and you know, he's starting this new culture thing called cocktails. Right. Idea. Right. So right, every month right. someone gets friends and uh, you let us to be the first one for this Very cool. So adventure. the inaugural goal, inaugural <laughs> culture through yeah. cocktails. That's pretty cool. So, so like yeah, we just wanted to bring down and then yeah. we, we thought oh yeah, what better thing to represent Hawaii's, uh, of course we do tiki, but right, also right. the uh, the rums and sure, we sure. had a. Kohana sponsored this event, so it's all agri you know, agricultural rum, Kohana agricultural rum. So, Co Kohana rum in the house. We've got cocktails from Skull and Crown. Yeah. And you're doing something that's pretty cool. I got to help you out with the other day, making that clarified zombie. Yeah, clarified zombie. Man, oh man, that's cool. Good. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't wait to have some that's of that cool. tonight. So, check it out, guys. We're in the upstairs bar. Look at that. We got Rylan over there. Also, shut up. And uh, a couple of our friends here helping us with uh, with uh, some of the uh, syrups and the ice and all that kind of fun stuff. So, ooh, that's a beautiful one right there. You see that? <laughs> beautiful show. All right, this we got here. This is the guy who owns the bar. Hey, everyone. Our buddy Isaac, right here at the Wolves. Dude, oh, what, what a beautiful Thank bar. You. Yeah, Thank you so yeah. much. So tell me a little bit about the bar, how you guys got started, and especially that ceiling right. that's in the main dining room. Um, well, uh, my partners and I, we uh, we opened up in September of 2018. Okay. Now we're uh, open for about a year and a half. And then COVID hit. We closed in uh, March of 2020, and we just reopened the 12th of November. Wow! So we so were actually closed longer than we were open. Yeah, timing's kind of crazy for that, huh? Yeah, but um, this bar it used to be an internet space cafe. Okay. Um, we kind of made it what it is now. Uh, everybody, when they walk in, always thinks uh, it's been around for a hundred years. That was yeah. the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we what we like to call it. We Tetris it. We Frankenstein it together. Okay. So everything is vintage from all around the world. Wow. Uh, nothing from here. So we just kind of brought it together. So you did a good job making it look like there's legacy here. That it's a vintage space. It's been around for a hundred years. I, I, mean, I think I have to credit that to my uh, my partner, Al Almeida. Okay. He is the uh, set designer on movies. Okay. And okay. he had the eye for that. And us partnering up really uh, yeah. was a, yeah. a great marriage. Yeah. 
I love it, I love it. So let's talk about this event happening tonight, Culture Through Cocktails. Yes. You guys uh, reached out to Skull and Crown, and this is the first of many, Yes, right? we're very excited to kick off. Uh, I met Noah in November when he came down to visit us, Yeah. and he told me uh, he had a bar in Hawaii, and I was like, wow, this is perfect. So I, I had a vision already of bringing uh, different cultures from around the world, bartenders, and uh, sharing it through a cocktail. That yeah. name didn't come through too recently, actually. It just kind of made sense. I just spent a m month in Bangkok, okay. exploring okay. and talking to bartenders out there. And when Noah hit me up, I was like, let's kick off the series, and it just makes sense. Uh, we are in a Pacific Islander month, which is- That's like, right, that's right, yeah. AAPI month, yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know, this is perfect. This will kick off, hopefully, the beginning of multiple series. I hope to have people from Japan and uh, Thailand, and I have oh, some man, people from Vietnam. Exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, all lined up, and they're yeah, going to come yeah. here. And for a lot of people that can't travel around the world, uh, we right. can bring it to them. Right, I love it, I love it. I'm excited to try the drinks tonight. Yes. Have you tried all the ones that are being served up to you yet? No, but I saw the menu yesterday yeah. and I was like, this is like the Hawaiian wolf. So I was like, right, this is right. amazing. I was like, just the ingredients in it. I was like, I'm very proud of this menu and it's, I it's love being it. showcased with us. So here's my dilemma. My dilemma is having all the drinks on the menu up here tonight uh -huh. and then having all the drinks on the menu down in the main bar. <laughs> that is a hard dilemma, yeah. <laughs> Which uh, is, well, you know what, so here's the thing, that means I just have to come back and enjoy cocktails absolutely. again I outside mean, of just tonight, right? <laughs> I mean, like, the Wolves is a, is a staple now of the downtown nightlife scene, bar scene. Yeah, so, we've been very lucky. We've got a lot of write-ups. We came out of nowhere. We're fairly new, but I think we're, we're we've established ourselves in kind of well yeah, respected. Yeah. yeah, and you guys are doing some really interesting cocktails down there. Nathan is, uh, I mean, like he's thinking outside the box creating some of that stuff. Oh, you know? we're very happy and uh, lucky to have Nathan. Nathan is uh, what I like to call a, a craft cocktail wizard. Yeah, he I is. I mean, he's he a is. mad scientist behind the bar. He just come up with crazy stuff and he leans towards culinary to look at his cocktails. I was just going to say that. Yeah, interesting stuff, which you guys, if you ever get a chance, you're down in the LA area or you're coming to the LA area, you got to come down here to the Wolves. Let's throw out the information for our viewers. Yeah, uh, the Wolves is in downtown LA, right on 5th and Spring, 519 South Spring Street. You can hit us up on Instagram at, at the Wolves DTLA. Um, cool. That's our handle. Very cool, all right. Check it out. This guy right here runs the bar over here at the Wolves. Nathan, aloha. Hello. Thanks for uh, thanks for having us here. And I'm looking forward to tonight. So let me give you a little better background. Nathan was helping us out here on Wednesday, getting the bar set up for us. So super awesome hospitality. But you got to try the drinks because this man is a mad scientist. He's doing stuff with cocktails that nobody else is doing. So tell us about your bar program here. So my bar program, um, what I've done is I've kind of taken like a more culinary approach uh, towards cocktails. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the ingredients I use and how I get the flavors out and what I'm putting yeah. in the cocktails is more uh, kind of chef driven. Yeah, totally. So a couple days ago I had a cocktail with shiitake mushroom. Mm -hmm. I also had a cocktail with raspberry and tomato. There was something with uh, was it was it split pea or was it green bean or French green bean? French green bean. Yeah, so you guys, you got to come down here and check this out. Down at the main bar, but tonight we're going to be doing something here. You guys already know about that. I want to ask you. I saw a little trophy over there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about that. Um, so that was a cocktail competition uh, over in Little Tokyo. Oh, um, love it. I got hit up by the um, people throwing it the day before the okay, cocktail okay. competition because I guess someone uh, <clears throat> had called out and uh, okay. they were short one person. So I jumped in and uh, did it. It was more like a small Iron Chef style like surprise ingredient. Day before, <laughs> day before, so he didn't have all this prep time, guys. Day before and he won the trophy. So if that's any indication of what kind of drinks this guy's making, 
that that'll sh show you something. So I know my hands are moving all over the place. You got to come down and check out his drinks. So anyway, I just want to say thanks for accommodating us here and, and doing this culture through cocktails. I'm excited. I think everybody's excited. Have you tried everything that's on the menu yet? That's going in here Not tonight. Yeah, but I'm excited too. Yeah, yeah. I, the only thing I've tried is that clarified zombie. Yeah, which was amazing. So yeah, yeah. So all right. So let's get into this.